Yes, people, it's your boy Young Sound about my thing. You will love fun to DJ Little, the Moses of Salon Music. Can you join me, boy? No. Salute. Yo, this is GKP representing for Team Salute, and you're locked into the sound of DJ Little. It's so bad. I love listening to DJ Little. It's sugar and rose. Why you for me? When me papa let me in. Yeah. My phone. Yes, you don't know. It's one of the DJ Little. DJ Little. Fire the tune, man. Yes, yes. Fire that tune, man, people. Welcome back to that. Our voices for Ceylon. That's right. We are locked on to now. We'll get radio the gates of knowledge and truth. And as I said to you earlier on, tonight is definitely all about passion, 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 passion they want. And um, as you are here on the first part of the program, an exclusive interview from um, a former detective police, police and um, where he retired in 2016, they're enjoying the holidays there, but he's still um, contributing very, very hard into the um, community and in several areas. Uh, from FGM, so preventing knife crime in the community. Uh, if you want to be joining with Alia, you want to hear the interview will take place between me and um, Jerry. And I want to say a massive thank you at this point in time, um, Ali Ron, because I will never say thank you later on, to um, Auntie Alima Dimonike, um, Dimonikeni, I can never say her name properly, my new auntie, Auntie Alima Dimonikeni will facilitate that. Um, meeting there between um or that interview there between myself and um jerry and i want to say thank you personally to jerry as well for taking some time out and i'm um, actually coming and um making the interview so fascinating and as, as well as um some real insights um a few food that i take on board and, and learn from that but uh i will be um summarizing later on on the show but um as i said to now it's all about bringing those people. For me personally, what I can for do them program here is not waiting me know. It's about waiting other people them where not only are experienced within it, that have got a better knowledge than me. My role is to just facilitate this interview or facilitate the program. It's those who are around me working with them, as I can say, that they are the real experts. You know, to be experts, you know. Me, all I need to do is just turn the tune in and then, then they Bring out the, the juice. So Jerry's done that. But here tonight, I've got two of me, Serenian brothers, them, um, two young communities ambassadors, where when I know the faces, them very, very well. Um, you've seen them and um, you know them too well. And um, some of them are still actively in the community. One of them is not so active anymore, but he's still doing um, amazing in um, God's work. So, uh, but I want to say, let's say good evening and push to the first. Let us say good evening and push out to my first guest at the studio, when uh, Mr. Yusuf Jamal Kamala. Good evening and push out. Welcome to the School of Voices. <laughs> yeah? Uh, good evening. Good evening, good evening. And then also good evening and welcome to you, sir, Mr. Chef Kamala, sir. Salam to all. Especially my family. Push out, push out, sir. So uh, welcome to the School of Voices. As we talk, we talk about um, uh, knife crime um, in the community. And um, not only in the Serenian community, um, so not only in the UK or London, but also narrowing it down towards um, the Serenian community, so to speak. And the question we are put today, because with knife crime, you can take and go anyway. But the question we are put today is knife crime, who is to blame? If I can just start with you, sir, um, Brother Sheik. Because as we all Muslim, but if, I, if, I, if you allow me, I will call you Brother Sheikh. Is that okay? Okay. So if, if who is to blame for knife crime? Who that, who that you feel say in a very brief summary? Because we have to look at in depth. But just briefly, who that you feel say for blame for knife crime now in the community? I don't know blame, but I'm not responsible. Responsibly, I would put all those who are in a place of authority in a place of having a say, in a place of discipline, in a place of implementing. This is the mothers, fathers, community leaders, um, 
ministers, parliaments, myself, yourself. So it's not to blame, it's more responsibility. And so this responsibility, I believe, has been neglected because we don't know who we are as sons, brothers, friends, fathers and mothers. So respect has been lost. Mm -hmm. And with no respect is a society of that which I would not like to live in. And so where we're living now is a state of no respect as I see it. Mm -hmm. And that which comes up in life with young sisters getting abused your brothers getting abused, elderly getting abused. Mm. So it is more of the grassroots. So I believe we all have to put our hands up. So I, I like the way you say, this is not on my own. So you're not just blaming. So you don't want to even use the word blame. You use the word responsibility. But I'll turn to me, other brother, uh, 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 brother Yusuf. Same question to you. Knife crime with community who that we for blame again or is it, like, is it the same thing like it's the same thing that's it's like a complex bubble mm -hmm. i would say it's a complex bubble so all man get for involved but it's going to take care mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. like always in the center of africa mm -hmm. it takes a village yes. to raise a kid that's right. So, if we don't get a problem there, mm -hmm. we knife and gun crime are picking. So, if we want to stop them, mm -hmm. it takes the whole community from the police, you and me, mm -hmm. the teacher, mm -hmm. the parents, mm -hmm. the auntie, mm -hmm. the uncle, mm -hmm. the pavilion, and the community center. Okay. You know, we all get to come together, we engage, mm -hmm. and we find a solution and a way forward. Okay. I, I like that, you know, when I want to talk about um, a whole community responsibility as in everybody. But um, earlier on, when I was in the studio, when I listened to me, guess where I interviewed? On direct talk, where I first put the question to her because I put the question on first before we go in depth um, into the interview. In talk, say, the person, the way they hold the net. Or the person that will possess the weapon, the bladed weapon, be it knife, be it any sharp object. Now them get that responsibility. Instead, said not use the word blame. He said, now then get that responsibility. He said, by having that in your possession or by having that, it means say they don't make themselves liable. They don't make themselves um, um, almost victims as well. Because why should the user say? That for defense, you don't make yourself a victim because if you get up in you, the temptation is it's gonna end up being used on you again, or you're gonna end up user. We also don't make you a victim as well. First of all, Una go one for disagree with we um with detective yeah, in contribution I, to that. I disagree because I believe the one carrying the, the weapon, mm -hmm. they are more a victim than the victim themselves. Mm -hmm. They, they carry a tool that is has a purpose mm -hmm. and the purpose that they take this tool for, it is not the purpose of the tool. So the carrier of the knife, mm -hmm. they themselves are a victim of being in that place to carry a knife. Mm -hmm. That is one because they have no community leader. There is no elder who he can go lay complaint to us to say. Mm -hmm. yeah? So he takes it upon himself to carry weapon. The society we grew up in in London is that a younger man would have an altercation with another man in similar age, but he does not have no adult, no one of respect, mm -hmm. no one who he believes would get what he's saying, would look at things from his own side mm -hmm. that he's been oppressed. Oh, if I can I look at somebody, that's a call. Hello, caller, what's that in your name? Who's the call from? Uh, hello, caller. What did I get when you say you call from? Uh, Ajay Boy. Um, if I can advise you for call, if if I can advise you for call the seven three seven number, the alternative number, then they will put you through um on the speaker phone. 
that now zero seven nine zero three two three three seven three seven. The studio manager will put a number on Facebook. If you call that number there, that will be the number of choice. Um, zero seven nine zero three two three three seven three seven. Yeah, two three three seven three seven. That will put you on the speaker for brother. Okay. Yes. Um, if you can carry on, and uh, uh, what I check. Yes. So, um, we, 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 let's put it all together in this. Your number. The victim is not who we all say they don't stab. They've done this. The victim is the one who has been labeled a criminal mm -hmm. when to be said the Still fact. Right, is he is coming yeah. from oppressed. Yeah. He is coming from a background of being oppressed, mm -hmm. so he feels not protected. So now he takes it upon himself to protect himself. So it's the blind yeah. leading the blind. Stay on the line, Paula. If you stay on the line, please, Ajay. Yeah. So it's the blind leading the blind. Okay. So the one with the weapon, he is carrying a weapon out of darkness, mm -hmm. and so he's also a victim as much as the one who he goes and. So the root call is okay. to teach us. That, 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 that now brilliant point say you make so shit because um as much as when um to be fair to um J uh, uh, Jerry Campbell where he say the um the one where they carry the weapon was a did go on elaborate the same three points in the way you point on. But we got a caller now um we don't call we um Ali um hello caller what's now your name um who's I call for please. Hello, Mr. Little, Ajay Boy. Hello, Ajay Boy. Yes, sir. Welcome, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, 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 another new face of Naro Gay Radio. <laughs> yes, um, so um, Ajay, you're most welcome um, um, for your contribution at the School of Voices. Um, SL. When did yeah. you take on this particular subject where we we'll put today? I know say this is uh, one area where you your shoulder for focusing on youth empowerment and so on. And this ability about it. But if I can ask the same question, yeah. why not ask to all this with me in the studio guest game? Knife crime, who that we for blame? First, I want to start to say hello to both you guests. Yeah. Um, but with the knife crime business, yeah, the way I look at it is like, what do you want to say is right? So for saying the people who want to carry the knife, they may not be seen. You want to put them for carrying the knife, they therefore feel unsafe. You understand? They never feel unprotected for them for carrying knives, yeah? Mm -hmm. I want to talk specifically about we young youngsters or young brothers. Yeah. Yeah. We before say, we we'll get that age gap between the old one then and the young one then, mm -hmm. and that day we'll get for fed. The same person we don't start to, we don't breach that gap day. Mm -hmm. We don't find that like, mentorship that we won't be able to engage with like, you know, 13, 14, 15 year old and 16 year old. Mm -hmm. We people to be able to show them within your community, not to show we the road, to be able to sort out the issues without carrying a shank. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, probably most times the people they carry the net, the situation where they make they carry the knife. That small, small situation where because they're not getting nobody for talk to, they're not getting no order for explain the situation, the dramas where they go through, mm -hmm. they choose to carry a shank. You understand what I'm trying to say, my brother? Mm -hmm. and when they carry that sign, they any small threat, that thing they don't become the protector. You don't understand? And because they're not trained with men, when they, when they wear a sign somebody, you can put it in someone the wrong way and that person is dead. You understand? And if you look at the murder rate, right now they say all over the New York. That's right. That means that the people that will worry because they will be in the community that will be afraid of. You don't understand? Yeah, because we don't communicate the young ones, they're great enough. But all of our if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, Ajay, Ajay, if I can just come yeah. to me, studio guest, I want to talk to you soon. Um, um, I'm stay on the line, Ajay. Uh, um, the, I'm very, very concerned about this language to say, um, una, um, the fact that my, my young guests they seem to understand or they try to empathize about the one the way they carry um, um, the weapon for say also then a uh, now, victim, it's just a very scary thought in an ordinary man's ears. I'm afraid. Why, uh, why, why that for happen? You don't need for carry weapon. Yes. You no need for. Yeah. Why we forget to that stage? To that stage. Okay. Um, from your own experience, 
I ask somebody who we in there that that kind of situation in there. Yeah. Fans be taller. Yeah. I'm here today. Or fans be taller. I'm not in a prison or in any of this place. But what I can say now, you get for look at the reason for yeah. why for like I'll check say why for that person really like me. Mm-hmm. I still need it. Mm-hmm. Protection, mm-hmm. self defense, mm-hmm. and intimidation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you you can see the three bubbles, yeah. and, and the main reason is why for people in the car, you know, from neon deep knowledge about yeah. you know, self defense, mm-hmm. protection, mm-hmm. and to intimidate. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we we'll get for going to do a more back. You know, mm-hmm. we're going to do a more back. We go from the books. You know, a man would be careful with the mental strong. If you don't instill in her, mm-hmm. waiting in a pardon, forgiving, mm-hmm. and overlooking. Mm-hmm. If that became on getting three aspects of three in my life, yeah. they be able to beat self defense, yeah. protection, yeah. and intimidation. Right. So we get to go back to the back to basics. Back common to sense. basics. Yeah. Common sense. We get for put this mm-hmm. back to basic in our, in our picking. So, there's a lot, like I said, I can always see a mm-hmm. complex situation. Mm-hmm. Very, very complex. So, Ajay. Yeah. Right, you, you, you don't hear you anything Yusuf to say. Yusuf said, we need, to go, we need to go back to basics. You understand? He points out three, you, key, you three key things there. Where, because, as I said to Yusuf, and I'll, I'll put it back to you, he doesn't even need to get to that. Why does he need to get I know, to what, or carry people, the line? People, you don't understand what came up over here. You see, like our generation growing up, you know, probably, yeah? Yeah. What somebody carry knife, that big thing? What somebody use knife, that extremely big thing? You know what I'm Yes. This new generation, these youngsters, yeah? This millennial generation, the first one to use is it. We need to go back to the joint board. Now, so take it in. You know, like, you, you know, if I say conference, for example, yeah? Yes. What conference do you use for having after school and feet? Yes. I had yes. But now for what they don't say, even if the one says they come to your feet, yeah, that's what they get next. But you so don't know you don't know that. You know, yeah. this we are going on this one blindedly. You don't know that. Well, how would I know that if I want to go fetch with you or check, I don't say they get to my phone. How do they know that? How do they know that? People know this because you know why? The young generation is the norm, they talk to each other. They know that John Peter or Smith, even his words, and one of them or one of their words will carry shank. The devil carry shank. Now we go back to the main basic one I start with. For that mentorship, the same, you see we don't want any type of community. You see that for say before we did start for do this against men of peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah? yeah. The main thing that we talk to them, what is their issue? Whether it's whether be bullying, whether it's gang related, whether it's drug dealing related, whatever not. They give you some constant with a state to speak to those mentors. Let them make sure that they are biased. Because now when you support the speaking them, not to look at the way you talk to their parents as open as they will with a mentor. You don't understand. Mm-hmm. Or they will tell you what they are. What was it in their school? Because you don't have to see what they experience by the hood on a regular basis, my brother. Mm-hmm. When people say guys will form and say, you know what, actually, I bet you speak to this person for me. You don't understand that it's yeah. mm-hmm. But it's important. You, if you know this yourself, yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand? You get the focus yourself. Mm-hmm. You understand, you see? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't come on to you for me, brother. Now, two in the talk. We've been there yeah. where, because of our presence, and the individual in the society knows that, you see, that big man over there, if I talk to him, He's going to uphold my respect for me. Mm-hmm. He's not going to put me down. Mm-hmm. He's going to make me feel like a man. And he's going to go speak to the one who is responsible for putting me, my back to the wall like this. And so this thing now, right. we need to bridge this gap where the school, the fathers, the community, the police, mm-hmm. you all have to take these things out of offices mm-hmm. and interview room and bring it out in the open because this is community matter. You see, so they certain right. things that needs to come out into the open because this is what we run our daily life by. Mm-hmm. And so this this simplicity of me knowing who you that you live in my estate, 
You are here. I know you're responsible. I know what you're about, and you're letting yourself. And so you are can hear by your speech that you are letting yourself be in the forefront of where you live. And so hence you speak to the youngsters, you 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 interact with them, they know who you are, mm-hmm. and then you know who they are. Mm-hmm. But the reality, most of these children meet in the street now, the only ones they have to speak to is those who are taking them to the left. You see me, brother. A lot of us, a lot of the, the individual who I believe yeah. that have the things to put in. They have been pushed on the ground. Those who have the ability to, to encourage, to do things. There's real men out there, I believe, that should be in certain roles in the community because they have respect on the ground and on top of the ground. You see what I'm saying? They, they, they have respect on the ground. On the ground, on top of the ground. Yes. That's all brilliant. Um, what, what's on the line, Ajay? Because I know you're very, very passionate about this subject as well. Um, the other side where I want for you, I'm very cautious. I got other areas I want to look at into this as well. Um, I want to look at um, uh, uh, um, the whole idea of um, the more way the the so-called the government, or if we now one down to um, the mayor of London, the play. Um, there's been a lot of um, several interventions then um, for type of events or raise awareness and, or promote um, awareness about knife crime and also um, the the Met police on their several. Um, um, like amnesty and all this, and they come, um, but, and they come, but none of these have seemed to have worked. As I asked, um, Jerry earlier on, why make that information or their program they did not they reach to the real local Bobo entity? Then, and they put them to an old. Okay, then let me start from there. Shall yeah. you remember? Right. It's not a challenge, well, yeah. it seems to be, it seems to be a challenge. Yeah. The way that they take them. Yes, you know, the way they take them. But if mm. within that situation, yeah, mm. we don't, one point where I think so even the mayor will not point out, yeah. or even the parliament, the people, the ministers, yeah. and the police, they do not handle this themselves. Yeah. This is a community basis. Yeah. Yeah. So if they're not getting the community and the right people like shit, yeah. and saying from the underground to the top mm. to deal with the issues, it's not going to go away. Because that youth in the street, mm. the only person that you're going to protect you to mm. is that man on the underground. That is Ajay, if you could just turn your television down. Yeah. Ajay, turn your television down at the background. That youth in the street, the only person in it will to is that man living at the underground where you know giving vibes. Mm. And most of the people on the underground, they're all on the left. Mm. There's a team. You see, there's a team. One so, building together. Mm. The government, mm. he mm. is been put as the captain of all of us. Yeah. But the captain is also on the football pitch. Yeah. He's not in the stand and the top F seat. Okay. You see? So you now, you're in the stand and the top F seat, but you're the captain, you're meant to be part of this 11 aside team. Mm. So how's your team going to play without the captain? Mm. We in the community, in the grassroots, you're here, you're playing your role. Mm-hmm. But I'm telling you, those up there, they need to speak what we're speaking mm-hmm. and give the power and the respect to the mothers and the fathers in their own because due to them taking the respect from the mothers and fathers in their own, the mothers and fathers are not really speaking but their sons and daughters are oppressing them in their home. But, moms but and dads, these children, 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 it's a good point. These children that are taking the knife out into the streets, yes. if and he has out. to get the insight, before he took knife out, He's already here his mom and dad at home. So do you see the boundaries cross? The politics, the politician, he's the captain. Mm-hmm. Yes? But now the captain said that the mom and dad, who is also a team member, mm-hmm. he said that you don't have no say. Mm-hmm. You have no say. The only say you have now is to feed and close him. Yeah? So now you are not there to tell him, my friend, when you walk in the street, greet that elder man. Mm-hmm. You're my friend, your neighbor, when you meet him, greet him. So now the levels step they're not getting missed. You cannot jump the step. Or you get for jump, so take a book yeah. Okay. So they don't jump jump many steps. You don't bypass the fathers and the mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come come in. I'm actually here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm just trying to think that. What do you want to say, right? Yeah. But I don't come I don't come across some from guys here, my brother. What are they not home? In that the house, they're an angel, the mama and papa do not want to go outside. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once they're outside with their boy, there's something else. Yeah. 
You understand? Yeah. Okay, now, the reason why all the things, all the, all the, all the government is putting grains for trickle down, it's yeah. not trickling down, but you know why? Mm -hmm. They're putting bureaucratic people, yeah, my brother, to come up with solutions for the road. Yeah, but something that related to the road, it's never going to happen. Yeah. They got a program for you, they, 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 they got an organization for user voice. You hear me, brother, yeah? yeah? User voice now, they're going to take up from prison, high type of hospitals, and all these places. Where people say, people that are affected, that are going through the situation on the ground, let them come up with a solution, and the government will help them implement those solutions. You know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Because whenever somebody comes to them, where is it possible they will relate to? Yeah? When they cannot relate to that person, they will only give them a facade. They will only give them a show for that person go, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah? yeah? In order for them to relate to them. Once that person comes on the scene, they're back to the scene. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So he goes back. Go to run in some app before it. Let's get the main guy from on the ground. Say, you know what? You are not willing to run. We are experienced for us. Now we're going to come. Get the main for t shirt. You understand? Engage with these people. Let these people see someone that used to live their lifestyle. Explain the consequences of that lifestyle to them. Mm. Okay. Um, you know what I'm yes. We get so another call from me. I get another call. I want to. I'm bringing online. Hello, Kola, what's your name? Princess. Princess Sky. Princess Sky, okay. Princess, um, what's your you comment um, on this program? Uh, what would it be all tonight when a knife crime? Who that's for blame? Or in English, who's to blame? Well, actually, um, the new uh,
Lights. Right. Yeah. But um princess, princess, just quickly before I let you go, um I just want to make sure you answer because um we want to check mentioned a very good point about um where it draw um um an analogy about the step because um there's a higher step where happen for big government don't create some steps then they where it means a gap then they so you as a mama some of the mama them you as a mama you able to claim that step there either by the offer where you put additional uh, temporary step them or wood bench or reach but some mama they that gap they too big for a police reach so that picking there and the government when sign a now that they, and that mama they do not get that control there reach that level there for communicate to the picking and so they fail. So as a result, as you said, become more empowered. And so now picking when a bad picking, all what you do now out yonder. Whilst you as a mama, you look and say you don't find that responsibility. They say ah, uh -uh. you let when the government not set this law. Say na so na so. I will find me your way for reach out to me picking. Show me your responsibility. And you talk. I'm glad you when you talk. Say you are from. Um, I, I hate that word. They say say no. But me go say. You became blessed with two different uh, 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 relationship. You understand? Know, co-parenting. Co that's the word. Two, two, two. Uh, a co-parenting relationship where then the benefits and um, because we've seen single mothers and single fathers that also raise successful children. I don't wonder what I want to say. One, the way you're doing a one post one in, in, one, in, a, in a in a in a point. One point, perhaps we don't know. Yeah, I've come to England. Most of my English friends, yeah. most of my English the friends, no, they do not carry no knife. Yes. Most of the brothers I met in England, yeah. either from Jamaica, yeah. from um, 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 the islands, yes. or the English born, yeah. they don't carry knife. And they are from a single family. Yes, but what happens is yeah. the African child, mm. that his father and mother, is from Africa mm. and he is either born here or raised up here. Yeah. Yeah. What happens is that there's a gap of authority. Yeah. He's at home, they teach him one level of respect and manners yeah. for the mom, the dad, the yeah. uncles, and this. Yeah. But they don't tell him, This is your way of life. Go out there, yeah. don't go to school and follow them. Yeah. What they do is at home, they say, Hey, you, wait, can't say, you may greet, you may this, go ask, man, go this, go shop, go this. Yeah. But when the child they go to school, yes. they tell the child go and be English. Yes. So can you see the child don't know where to go? Yes. The school is meet a teacher yes. who don't ask him for yes. who asks him for no discipline. Yes. He meets people now in authority, yes. they ask him for no respect, for yes. no discipline. So he's thinking, well, all I have to do is say hi papa, hi grandpa. Yes. When I go out in the world, I don't know nothing else. Yeah. You see, now two sides, the man that live now, two worlds. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think Princess, you've made a fantastic contribution yeah. to the show. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, um, stay tuned and listen to the program and then share them out as well so you network them and get more people that were involved for call the program. Thank you so much, Princess. Excellent, excellent score. Okay, um, obviously, I don't need to say to now. When I said to you, when I said to you, here comes a responsible mama. When I do, we all know you're going to a responsible mama. Now, I want to move on to another side of the um, for of, of, of this big question, where again is 
this year will be called stop and search. Stop and search. Where he been there? Okay, then bring a camp. Where he been there? It do better for me. It do better than the community. Knife crime go down. But now we, the black and ethnic minority, complain. We put we are up. We say, well, hang on a minute. Please stop and search here. Not a Chinese man, they move. Not an English man, they move. Not an Asian man, they move. Now we, the black, know what they so Black and ethnic minorities. Now we know what the black one is. The Africans, the Jamaicans, the Somalians. Now we know what they stop. Why we? The plot type was say, well, according to statistics, and so where we say, according to statistics, if they search for every 10 black person they stop, seven will get to weapon. So we just have to go with what the trend say. What is our own take on this stop and search? If not good thing, you know, or then we can come back one of the devil side. Let me have a take on this. Yeah. Search, you know? Mm. Every day. Now, uh, underground situations or as we own community as a black community. Yeah. You know, when anytime we we positive things come within that society there. Right? Yeah. Because of the dealings, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we did protest. But so me and I can say to the old library, still in such a fact of intervention. Mm -hmm. Because anytime you stop something fascinating that community whereby they've been labeled yeah the percentage mm -hmm. is at the higher rates for many kids or whatever reason and believe me they happen anytime you stop 10 black but boy yeah the yeah. team our community seven yes time to have something so if that was working mm -hmm. and when i all these dead case yes. all always in the gun you have to work with it as a community, I I, I believe, believe yeah, you disagree. So, I believe so for the start increases crime because what right. it does. So it sounds as if you disagree. Yeah, as you really, they disagree with what you see. They say they figure out why, how, how, and why. Because I believe negative policing mm -hmm. makes criminal. Negative policing. Wow, that's a, a, that's very strong. Yeah, it's it's a form of criminalizing mm -hmm. the yeah. community. Mm -hmm. Because what happens with a young man growing up, mm. 10, 11, 12, his voice stress, mm. he is boost, he's turbo, mm. he's a young child. Mm. And when he gets approached mm. by the by a, a, a policeman mm. and he's innocent, mm. immediately what happens, his back comes up. Mm. He doesn't see the policeman as an assist and as a help and as a as his right hand, mm -hmm. as this man is here for my good. Mm -hmm. He sees him as an oppressor now. Mm -hmm. And so now, creating enmity that doesn't need to be there. Mm -hmm. We have a good example of a policeman called Mario, mm -hmm. who's been in Peckham with us since he was a child. Mm -hmm. Mario knows that his thing is to look after the weak and the innocent and the vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I do not see Mario mm -hmm. going chasing after uh, 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 a so-called man who's going to sell uh, a bag of green over there. Mm -hmm. No, I would see Mario making sure that this estate here, mm -hmm. these small children here, mm -hmm. they're safe. They're going home. They're not getting involved in this and that business mm -hmm. because the criminal. There is a prevention for the criminal. Mm -hmm. The policeman who gets the criminal. Mm -hmm. But what we have to do is, is to protect our community from feeling like criminals. Mm -hmm. Do you see? I agree. If you make an individual feels like a criminal, mm -hmm. when he's not a criminal, what you do, you're losing an ally and gaining an enemy. Mm -hmm. How can you gain an enemy in your own community? Mm -hmm. It's not the way. So community, the police should have community officers mm -hmm. who are well-known, well-versed within their own streets, within their own community, mm -hmm. so that all the young ones if a child from five, back into the camera. Oh, if a child from five, yeah. six, mm. seven, mm. eight, mm. nine, mm. ten, eleven, twelve, he's growing up with this officer. He's not seeing a policeman no more. Mm. He's seeing a friend. Mm. He's not a policeman. So even if, I, so you know what I totally get what you said, and I understood what you said. But I so think the difference with stop and start okay. is that it is random. 
when you have a community yeah. and you make the community be run by a, a, an individual who is known, an officer, he has to be part of the community. He cannot be a Roman visa. Yeah. He's Roman from Kent yeah. to Beckham, I mean, and then he, I he's also some yeah, I, yeah. I totally understand that because one of the cries out that the black and ethnic minority communities said is, the Bobo they want to send for cash to research, the Bobo they want to serve the community. No. And you've given a typical example to say, this is the reason why. So, what you're saying indirectly is you're not against stop and search in a way. If it's, you have somebody that knows the community, yes, because he will, he will do stop and search, it, but it will protect yes. and prevent, and he will know who's who. He will know who's who. So, why stop and search is such a problem? You, you're going about your daily business. Yes. It's cold. I guess I'm wearing a this it's cold. Yeah. And now he all of a sudden seems to come and search me. Yeah. Where the problem is, if you see that man that now, gets I, stopped. I want to flip that coin me. If you know, say at that point in time, yeah. where um we they use the name Mario, it's not yeah. a real policeman, don't just say Mario, yeah. not a real policeman. Mario um decide to stop you. Yeah. You know, say you know there's no bag of green on you, uh -huh. or you've got no bladed weapon on you. Yeah. Why are you not gonna come down and let Mario do the move? Yo. This is where it is. Mario, Mario is ready to do his nine to five. Remember, randomly, yes. you don't fit the statistics. We they work with statistics. The statistics say if Mario work at the 10 10, a full 10 black man, seven of them black man, yeah, go get blame. You understand it? You don't happen for me, what's your number eight on the day? You understand it? Okay. I'm you don't get nothing, but you're not one of them, one and they don't get nothing. Why are you going to get you back up? Me, I they go away. Preventing. I'm going about preventing. But well, that's what he's trying to no, do. No, 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 that's not preventing. He, he, that's what he's trying no, to no, do. No, 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 it's not preventing. Okay, hold on. Okay. What is he trying to do? Because why? Okay. Are they come? What is not getting? If they come back and yeah. what is Mario trying to do? And um, it's just trying to prevent the crime within that sector. But the problem is mm. where you're not getting mm. where my man is coming from. Mm. It's like a bubble within our society. You know? Where you don't oppress people in. Mm. It's generally you know, the problem with us, and they will go against you. Mm -hmm. you understand? It? Which is it's fine, mm -hmm. you know. I say it's all about knowing the community and putting the right communities mm -hmm. to take on this. Because if you're looking at, this, yeah, mm -hmm. me and in no. underground level of things. Mm -hmm. So we can twist that statistic up, saying in that situ situation, in that part, in that part, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. We can switch that back over. Stop and search is a form of criminalizing an individual. Mm -hmm. Stop and search. I, I to an extent I get that. Stop and search is a form of criminalizing an individual. But I wanna I wanna I wanna I wanna check yeah. understand this. Okay? Me as known as I are they read statistics. Yes. Statistics, whether fake or not they fake, mm -hmm. you understand it, tells the story. Yes. The story of the days from when they get rid of stop and search, knife crime, or, or the weapon against black and black or black and ethnic minority, as in now, then they go take Dave when they can't win us at the Whilst Mario then a Peckham, I know that they will not see bro, all the you yeah. understand it, but then. Dev is only here to reduce the figure of few hours. So if Dev is, Dev is here to reduce the figure for a few hours, and if he's going to stop 20 um, black cross in them, where you know one day have another relationship for them, all he okay. needs to do is spend three or five minutes with you, and then if he finds something, bam, bam, on a 20 way stop, you understand them, 14, 14 don't get. So prevent. Dev is done a very good job for me. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so Mario, Mario prevents, mm. he prevents, and he keeps safe and he keeps the community ticking over so the officer mm -hmm. that is based within that society mm -hmm. who is known who when the child is going to school in the morning mm -hmm. he's there on the street mm -hmm. before you know he knows that child's name he knows this child's name he knows all the child's name within this community now there will only be three eggs of bad child mm -hmm. and mario knows them three eggs there is the only ones that will cause mischief and so what he would do instead of going wasting his time over there mm. is make sure is a b and c okay mm. when a b and c is okay from mario and a b and c gets a report 
And what happens is barriers now can get broken because all the others are in in a safe place. They are not bad eggs. They are not willing to cause wrong. But these three that are willing to cause wrong, what happens is the prevention that they need is for first to get met to meet the one who's looking to stop them from wronging themselves, mm -hmm. and that is the officer. But the officer has to come as an aid, an aid, an assistance, because you don't want to create criminal. You want to take away the criminalism from him. Mm -hmm. So he's acting as a as a criminal because he has been put in opposition to police, which is the opposition to criminals. You see? So what you want to make, you want to make the, the policeman as the community. Mm. So you cannot be enemy with your own community. You see? But if he's a policeman, he is easily made an enemy. Mm -hmm. But if he, this policeman he is from I, know, I still don't understand why he should be made an enemy by uh, those people he's trying to protect. Yes, because of the gap. So what we're trying yeah. to do is to bridge the gap. You, mm -hmm. we met you as an elder, mm -hmm. and when we was growing up, mm -hmm. playing music for us, entertaining us, mm -hmm. and what happened, mm -hmm. the gap broke between me and you and us, mm -hmm. is that you became a mediator towards us. Mm -hmm. You could speak to us. Mm -hmm. You can... You, you you got respect from us because of your service given to us. Do you see what I'm saying? So the service given by this officer now regards, uh, will, will tell the respect and the relationship that he builds with those who he wants to protect. He doesn't want to lock them up. He wants them to be safe. Because they might not be somebody who they will see again. All he's just going to do they is just be working. Yeah. Because you know how the police work. The yeah. more people you charge and the more things you Yes. more money and more whatever it is. Yes. So, so, it's, it's, it's a, a bonus space. It's so, bonus um, space. okay, <laughs> if we can just answer that, because we have come up with excellent um, 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 arguments towards why you think stop and search is not working. So, you've also said touch based on, but well, how, um, again, just based on um, your scenario of having a Mario in the community, if we can just look at it now, the Met Police does not have that resources. Um, they've got down the police. No, they're wasting the cash on cameras. It's more expensive. It's more expensive mm -hmm. to put the cameras <laughs> to run the camera. Then, it's not. I want to go with videos. No, it's not. The metal no, is not. The metal is no, it's not. It's cheaper. It's not. So you have to put the electricity for the camera. You have to put it wired on the ground. You have to service it. Yeah. You have to this. You have to that. You have to that. But with the community, you with, see community that? with the community, okay, okay, okay. 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 No, okay. not one. Okay, let me policing. Let me policing. Community, community policing okay. is a thing, it's like growing, it's like a seed. Yeah. Community police. What they have they don't have it. Do you know how many do you know no. how much the okay. police has been reduced? Okay, then. Let's go on facts. So that's why I say, yeah, that's why I say this whole situation is mm -hmm. a complex situation. Yeah. It's not me and you alone that can deal with the matter. Okay. It comes from the government, they come from all sort of departments. Yeah. Because when me and him was young, yeah, it was many the society. Yeah. But we are community policing. There was a lot. So and much. he was our friend to us. Even and though he was, we were, even though yeah, we was a toddy, even though we was a toddy, you understand? We had respect for him. We had respect because him. you know why? He didn't look for crime. He looked to prevent wrong. Do you see the two difference? There's an officer now. He's looking for crime. He's so if you are looking for crime, you have to make crime. You have to. But crime. this officer that we said, what he did, if he knew you, that child is a bad head. He's riding the bike, or he's not meant to be riding the bike, and he's troubling the elderly people, the women, the children. He's, he's gonna make sure. He's right. gonna make sure he's going there. I'm conscious, man. We're gonna go to another subject now because my my manager is looking at me because of time. Um, now let's talk about um um another thing which is important, which um you both touched on at the beginning. We talk about um basic grassroots family roots. Um, princess talked about mm -hmm. it. Now, our children, most of the boys and the girls that are into gang crime have found, this, or they go out and find a new family, family or so, um, and that is where they find comfort. This is as a result of, um, a, either, as you said earlier, my mother work long hours, my father work or sometimes mom's only on a dead end job, cannot give him um, 90 pounds, 110 pounds to go and buy the latest um, um, trainers. Um, and all of that stuff, and the latest gear, the latest clothing, he cannot afford it. He wants uh, a 600 pound coat, he can't have not it. Not to, not to can't. Girl. Um, a, a in fact, a man and leader, this, this is not that, England we did. But he's not working then. <laughs> this is not England we did. In my salon, I didn't work at back, I didn't work at back. Because, 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 because I sat there, who's going to give him 10 bags of green, 
drop it off for me there on that 10 bags of green day. You have 50 50 pounds. You understand that? This where is where this so, is so do you think this is the way? Where, this, okay, this is where I was. Um, I make always, as I say, this all I'm basic. It's just an easy thing. We go back to basic everything. Always, let me just step myself and me and check as an example. You know? Came here young youth, young Africans. You know, we had two teeth from single planes. Mm. But us, he, he got out of that where it was like a single plane. Mm. He's working from 7 in the morning to 11, 11 in the night. So, My father worked. Okay, cool. So we had them people, you know, we had our moms in the house. First of all, they, they, they were the soldiers, you, mm-hmm. know, you know, bringing us up, you know, but they instilled, up to today, they instilled respect to this mm-hmm. person. And the thing that I've been through in life, or what Shek's been through in life, most of this young youth today never went to mm-hmm. that kind of fashion in gangsters' way. But no matter what, then tell them they will add, you get blood in, you put them in the seat and they put them in the corner. True. Then talk to you, mm-hmm. including you yourself, mm-hmm. that was two or, two or three years older than most of mm-hmm. us, and even word of advice yeah. to us. We we'll listen because of that respect for the man that was listening. Yes. But nowadays, generations, if you, you yourself, how many of them you will talk to and tell you to fuck up? It's not easy. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. So that's why I said, yeah. brother. That's why it's on foundation. I can't even that's talk to them, man. Like, I can't man. even look at them I'll to talk you to me. I put you to the road yeah. the other day. I was well, in the question I, wa- I wanted you to go to before I come to you, Sheikh, is again, why are they going out there and finding new family on with or with the gang family? Because my man will buy for them the latest gear, or they cannot go to um, get the latest gear from home. Why why are they not content? If now five five year will eat or bread and galina, we've all we all been created in this earth to be able to have the necessity. Well, not so, all my yes, yes, you have. have yes, you do. Yes, you should. You, you're born to have it, but you don't have it. No, your so, parents are not so, me. So, you, your parents have either so brought you here when you're young. Or they don't born in this country, okay. and then if you meet your mama the pan dead, or your mama or your papa the pan dead and drop, and that's where you live, you learn okay. and live Please according so. to the means. Parents, okay. whether or not you single parents or whether or not they will okay. feed you up, why not you go for what see say uh Demi and Don the Road is bringing up the latest SLK or uh, you know that's not facts. Yes, that's facts. It's not that the child that's my fact. Okay, oh the level. Okay, let me tell you. Yeah, 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 you, 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 you've been brought up yeah. in a standard, in a manner yeah. that yeah. this one cup rest nine days, yes. let we manage where we eat. Yes. This man here, yeah. he comes from a place that he walks down the street, there is 10 different shoe shops on the same street. Mm-hmm. So no socky on it. <laughs> on the same street, <laughs> there is 10 different <laughs> food places on the same street. Yeah. So he, no as a problem. child, He's gonna ask himself. He wants to eat. What are you telling me that I cannot eat and KFC myself? Why are you telling me I cannot eat KFC? Because myself? mom's on a dental job. No. Dead, 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 so job. now the government, this government, the government, those who we go vote and put in that place, they have responsibility to make sure every home in the land has its food, has its electricity, has its means. So ends that they give the society. The, the, the quality of life which is needed to be able to move forward and to be able to be of assistance for them rather than a burden. So in this state now, what they have to do is, is not to just come and break down the council houses and make the houses which are the worst houses, is to make easier living condition mm-hmm. for these so-called uh, um, working standards people. Yeah? You've already made the standards for us, we're not, uh, we're not arguing with you. You say we're working class. Okay, we're working class. He was this class for what we yeah. yeah. So, Yusuf, yeah, good points. Good point. Good point. Um, Again, is Damien Dongdi Wood the best person for me and you, or no. my son, my brother, no. to, to go and feed him? The Do you think, Street yeah. has to come up with a, with, with a solution which make caters for moms and dad of you're children. not asking my question uh, no he's not he's no he's not he's no he's not so damien is not the right he's person not. He's not. so why would you want to let your younger brother or your younger sister into damien's um little um what a, 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 a red house if, or green house if because when you come out of damien's house 
and by a week time, you're going to be coming out with more money than your mama ever can with If you didn't organize your show today and yeah. prepped yourself and yeah. put things in order, yeah. we would be yo-yo. You know, yo-yo, yeah. open yeah. that, open yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. the government yeah. have stepped into the home yeah. and what they stepped in with yeah. is left them with shite all over their hands. Yeah. So they need to quickly put away the tissue yeah. and get some fresh water yeah. and wash. Yeah. You said that the schools no right to discipline the children. You said the fathers and mothers have no right to discipline the children. So where is um um, um, um what's her name in Down Street? What's the Teresa May? Teresa May with a cane coming to discipline the children to put them right. But it's not that. that law is not just for black and ethnic minority. You okay, it's yeah, also for everybody. Point. It's also there for the white man. So he, as you said, it's also there for okay, the Asian man. In, but why make we the minority feel say the solution? It all lets me down. It all lets you and I down. So, uh, so means we begin up to take uh, bladed objects. Go after the set. And can I ask you a question, yeah. gentlemen? Yeah. Who is killing who? Is it black man killing white man? No. Or black boys killing white boys? The weak. Is black boys killing no. black boys? It's the weak killing the weak. innocent killing the weak. I was in Bermondsey a few days ago. A child. No, old enough to be my son, who was playing, you know, the snow came, he was playing snow fight. I played snow fights with him. You know what they said? Straight away, I can feel the, the aggression of bullying. So I realized, oh, they've been bullying people. So I turned to speak to him. And he said to me, oh, my friend is going to poke, poke you up. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. He said, my friend is smooth, like my son. He said, my friend is going to juke, juke you up, like to stab you up. Yeah. So I told the brother, I said, I'm sad. He said, why? Didn't you see me and you was playing? Yeah. You see me was laughing? Yeah. Where did this warrant this thing? Yeah. And then I turned around to look at the crowd. Yeah. There's a sister with them, yeah. a young sister with them, yeah. a bigger brother with them, like elder to me. Yeah. So I look like this young child, yeah. who he is, is innocent. Yeah. His freedom, yeah. his life is being used and abused by those who have been put in authority of it. Yeah. This is a young English child in Burmese. Yeah. This is not a dark skin, brother. Yeah. And the same thing, when I walked around the corner, yeah. the same thing as in Peckham is happening there. Yeah. So the fact of it is, we all need to get up off our chairs, English, African, whoever, we need to go back to basic and tell the government, my friend, is either you're gonna make me Give my child 12 dozen on the ass when he oversteps the boundary, mm. or else you are not allowed to do the things you say you want to do to him. Mm. Because you cannot take away his God given right for him mm. to be taught good, blessing, guidance, respect, and manners and honors. You've taken away the God given right of the child to be taught respect, manner, and honor mm. by his father and mother. And you have taken the rein and you've chopped it one side. And now the child is acting like a delinquent. And now you want to go and, and discipline. Uh, whilst I agree with that to some extent, I will still say to um, men is that the fact that um, whilst the government may have stripped all of those responsibilities and your rights away, as you said, there are other family members or there are other communities that found alternative way of administering discipline. If you say you begin, um, by the way, there seems to be a lot of people agree with what you were saying there. Um, there's a lot of thumbs up coming up. But um, as I said, if you say you picking um, government saying you're not going to get lashes, you say you picking government saying you're not going to get there are other ways of reprimanding him or her. You say to your child, um, I'm going to take away certain things away from you. You understand? You're not going to go to cinema. Or I'm going to take your latest gadgets, which I, I, I bought you. If it's your, your mobile phone, your tablet, your let PlayStation, me, or whatever you want. Let me just try to comment. Do you have to go to Kenya? Okay, let me just try to comment with what you're saying. And check, you remember when I was young? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if we don't perform well, you get tagged. Yeah. Yeah. Simple. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not like it doesn't work. Yeah. For our branded situation, it comes with weeping as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, like, I'm thinking, yeah. I'll give you the greatest example. Yeah, yeah when he was young. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me just take this call and see if this call is related okay. to okay. Hello, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Okay, I'm on radio now. Um, I'm live on radio. Uh, is this a, a radio related call? 
Okay, let's talk. Let's talk after ten. Um, after eleven, I'm on radio. <laughs> and DJ, like I was saying, and check. I want to give me. I'm going to go back to yeah. the situation whereby you understand him. We had a conflict. Yeah, it was about thirteen. Mm-hmm. We had a conflict. We had a, we had a conflict on mm-hmm. the famous um tandem of Beckham State. Yeah. Okay. Whereby I go, I went and smack this girl. Mm. Yeah, caused trouble. Yeah. What Sheck's mom do? Went straight into my house, mm-hmm. boxed me down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the copper beat me up. Mm-hmm. That can happen now. No, no, man's a road man, man's a road man. The girl, man. The girl and her mom come to my house mm-hmm. and say, hey, hey, is this one? I said, hey, mama, me, I don't need to. Hey, it's my friend, Yusuf. Mm-hmm. So later, you know, my mom said she told the girl and her mom, say, come, let's go. You're my team. My mom went on the team of the girl and the mom, and my mom was even oppressing me mm-hmm. myself. They banned me from out to take her to Yusuf's house. Yeah. You check, you this, you that. What can I do? My hands are tied. So if you see, the community can also be an effective policing tool. Mm-hmm. And so what happens is this has been taken. Well, the government has said you can't do this. Yes, they've stripped it. So they've stripped it. Why they've stripped it? Where she's coming from? It's moms and dads and family. Mm-hmm. So now what happens if this child and that child have an altercation? Mm-hmm. The family are at loggerheads because both don't see for the same justice. They don't see the role. For me, you could go to your mom and move to your mom, and your mom will stand for me. Your mom will be afraid that if I touch you, you're getting services, social, this, social, that, social. This. So okay. now the African mom and dad, what happens to him? He's already. They all become social they're workers. Pissing well. their pants. So they stop beating they're, they're pissing their pants <laughs> because they say that, oh, my son, me too, I work for social services. Yes. Yes. If I hit my son now, yes. what's going to happen to me? I won't work on this. So now the African child is left being a menace to society. Because why? His father and his mother has been oppressed by the government not to establish the discipline which was given to them, which is what makes me, Sheikh, not be no criminal on this earth. What has saved me in this land that I've been in is manners and respect. Because I met in this land those that have no manners and respect for elders. And what saved me, I say, is manners and respect. And this is in strip from the people. This is in strip from the people. That's right. what I'm saying exactly. I mean, I make in I make that point declare mm-hmm. because I remember I know mm-hmm. at a very young age. It's a lesson that they never did that again. I never did that again. <laughs> you trouble brothers, but you never ever trouble women again. He yeah. learns that lesson there. straight away. Yeah. Because he's a man, he was 13. The girl, she too, she had a role to play, but at the end of the day, we're men. We know where we're from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Th- this is the truth. So with him for that day. I never seen step that mark again. Okay. Yes, yes, uh, yes. So that's um that is gentlemen, I, I think you brought in so what we will want to do now, um we've got about 15 minutes ago. Um I want us to just round up um in terms of um let's think about possible solutions. Okay, because we've now asked the question and you will explore it um in the various different segments. Mm. Now mm. what I want to ask you now, in your own opinion. Knowing that what you know about the government or all the things that the government has done to our um, society to making um, black and ethnic minorities become weak, um, so that um, this is the reason why. Okay. And I wish the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, and his team can get you guys as an advisors um, um, to his council because I think he would learn a lot from you guys. But I want you to think about what possible solutions can be put um, forward. But, but we need to take this call and then. When once after the call, then you guys can come up with your solutions. Is that right? Yeah. Hello, caller. Wait for your name and who are you call from, please? Hello, Maria. I'm Maria. I call from Martin. Hello, Maria. To welcome to Diaspora Voices for Sierra Leone. Hello. Hi. Um. Tonight, Hello, Maria. Uh, we ask the big question and nice crime who's to blame. And um, we don't get a call earlier at the start of the show from um detective um former detective of Metropolitan Police um Jerry Jerry Campbell and now. In the studio again, we've got them, um, Sheikh Kamara and um, Yusuf Jamal Kamara. And um, I know say you don't know what she program to us. I'm waiting on your contribution. Well, um, I'm the only program, but obviously, I'm not catch up with so much um, of what they've gone. But according to what I don't catch, um, now, first of all, on the life, we the reason for me calling, I just want to say hello to the brother, Sheikh, and you say, come on. You know, life. I think those are the best people you have chosen for this program today. Thank you. 
there will be I, I have a very good team of researchers that go around and put in the right people. Yes, because they will they will make sure they share all the experience because they know what's out there, which is good. Yeah. So yes, yeah. um so um obviously um we don't talk about um knife crime um uh, within uh before first of all um you are very very much in um the, the the heart of this as well because you are um the head of a, a children's organization and also yeah. one of um the, the, the community champions now we say forget where they won um one of the only single um program where they captured um an entertainment value for selling children uh four to sixteen in a salon kid reality show as the yeah. ceo and founder of um Chatterbees Nursery. Where you look at like your nursery school, I'm sure you see younger children there. You possible at this stage if they begin to identify, begin to say, hmm, this became I get concerned for them. The only four year old will not be in the show sign, and then this became yeah. I think is gonna do well. Um yeah. how do you feel looking at children today as waiting because we check um and you see don't say um control is been taken away, it's been stripped away from it, and it's all in the hands of the government. I think, um, um, as somebody in the educational sector, do you think that is true to some extent or it's not true at all? Do you think parents still have I, control of discipline? I agree with that, mm -hmm. but also in other reasons why I believe there's some problems out there. Mm -hmm. um, parents are not so much to blame in the sense of, obviously, some parents do their best to, go, um, to bring up their children and teach them the right thing. Mm -hmm. But also, one thing I find in life is the time you spend with your kids means so much to them. Mm -hmm. We do find the love of our parents, especially of the ethnic background children. A lot of our parents spend more time thinking about the money making. And I think during those times, this is where they give the children the opportunity to opt out and follow. Friends are the influence of nine. So, for example, if you're out there, your friends carrying knife and doing things like, you know, what's not obviously acceptable to do for the age group. Your child's going to look at those boys and, and other children and go like, I need to be part of this guy. And if you're giving your child that time and opportunity to opt out and do this kind of thing, this is the reason why they don't follow those kind of things. For example, like you said, obviously, I work with uh, very early years, you know, seeing like children at a very long, young age. We look at children who we'll do role play because we can talking from role play. For example, a child role play something, you look at them and think, okay, where is this leading to? So mm. they're not doing it because of this is something they just wake up one day and feel like, I'm going to do this. Mm. It's something they've seen and it's something they've learned. So they're obviously seeing it from somebody else and mm. they feel like, oh, it's okay to carry this on. And this is what I feel like is good for me to. Do you think so, um I'm just quickly I'm very conscious of time. Do you think um you as an early year um teacher because you guys or you people are the people that start the discipline from that grassroots because you're you're actually um you are the head of a, a, of a nursery um looking after children say from say six months up to four years or four and a half years where possible. Um, do you have any control in terms of administering any discipline to those children? You know, to support yeah, we, them? We, we have. So we have, like, um, if we look at early years, the way we teach things is, for example, early years, we look at things like learning to reflect. Mm -hmm. But we have a topic that are planned monthly. So if every year there's a topic based, which is called, like, for example, you have a topic saying um, community helpers. The community effort is really bringing people like the police officers. Okay. So, for example, like last year, even this year, we go up plan for Ju July. So, we get a police officer from the borough, from the station itself, that comes into the young children and talks to them in general about, you know, it's not the major things about crime, but the very basic and reasons why, what they do as they job grow as well. Mm. So, okay. we, if, it's something like um, a lot of nurses, which I'm aware of, I'm sure they're doing it, they're doing it. But a lot of nurses that if starting these things from young, I think they also try to teach children to say, if we get a certain state, you do a certain crime, this is what will happen to you. Mm -hmm. And there's certain things you don't do if you don't want to go this path of life. Okay, so finally, my final 
final question to you before I come back to my guest is um um this is the final question I'm asking to everybody as well is um what do you think is the way forward to prevent or stop um knife crime um even happening in our community instead of even rising from happening how how can we stop it completely me personally i have many three or four things to say. if you could be brief please yeah i'll start they say charity starts at home i tell the parents for money try to work with their child talk to their child build a relationship with their child that's one two is community officers that are out there i believe in they need to spend time where no, they're not, they shouldn't just be out there like monitoring the system and looking at children in a daily basis. I think like if you if if, if you guys remember, we have Shepherd Youth, I'm sure they remember this. When we used to have tech in Bethel, mm -hmm. yeah, we used to have like activities that go on for young children. They have these um, uh, local community supporters that used to be there and work with the young boys and the young girls. That used to support a lot of children. So they take away all the things in our life. And some of our children now, they don't have this kind of thing. This is why they find the reason to be out there and commit this nice crime. Mm -hmm. And three, it's also friends. Mm -hmm. We do teach your child. You not tell your child who to be friends with in life, because you can never choose for them. Mm -hmm. But one thing you need to make sure to your child is don't hide things away from your child. Mm -hmm. If they get to a certain stage at the teenager stage, show them the knife. Show them this kind of knife they shot. If you put it in some of things very different level, it can take away someone's life. So don't play when it comes to weapons, don't play with them, they're not toys. Mm -hmm. So if someone does you something and you feel like they're coming for you, mm -hmm. that's where you, you call for help. Okay, the final one the final one please, because I've got up less than five minutes to go. Okay. Your final point, please. You said parenting, community oh. offices, friends and yeah, and, and the final point is, I think more crime needs to be taught in school and education industry. And it, I, feel, I feel like the schools and colleges need to bring more of those in. Okay. Like, for example, the teaching sex education, PSED, or whatever. Yeah, PSHE, yeah. I don't know the teenagers talking about those things. PSHE, yeah. I just believe in it. It's a more education in crime. Okay. 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 Thank you so much. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Okay, um, right. Okay, so salam, 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 salam. Okay, well, um, you've heard it there. Yeah. There she said, I don't know, um, is it's this something that, that yes, is that something that you could, without the system I here to, I said, um, yeah. parenting, let me, just, yeah, if, let me just put it in, yeah. for a long time, Jen, we just need parents, yeah. families, yeah. schools, youth groups, community, yeah. all come together yeah. to discourage and prevent. So, like I always say, go back to the table, yeah. talk to these, all this, even the local businesses can get involved. True. Even you as a radio presenter, yeah. and I think you can get involved. Yeah. This is well, the only yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> we have a work, we have working for me. Yeah. Like, and check stated, or my actual stated, mm. you know, now what I see in our community mm. is the dad and moms in competitions. Indeed, I agree with fighting you. over money. Thank you. I agree. Fighting would have forget the biggest person in the world. Yeah. You know, he's speaking in our community. Now, one, one, parents and me see them, they take them to the Kingo restaurants. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Daddy and Mama don't get mine, take them to the Kingo restaurants. Yeah. Whilst that lame other community. Well, the last one, we'll send out Yeah, yeah that, that lame other community person. Yeah. Yeah. The Mama, even the Ben took them to the Yeah. Then they take them to the go restaurant and see, and go eat and sit down, you understand? Right. But we, we mama and we work the longest of hours in the cafe. All that, that's all I see in the community. I agree. Yeah. Right. So, if we, we as community, we will not begin teach with parents, and so the young parents in Africa will work yeah. yeah. We will not begin teaching and say, you know, you know this need to work. Mm. If you get picking, you born picking, for me, you can provide for you. Mm -hmm. You know, so you gotta focus anything that pitching money to really get and say, mm -hmm. but they eat you work enough with Nana too for more than provide for that picking. You know, now so then you sleep to the net. True. And the gangsters in the street are so waiting to pick that up. They're waiting to pick that up. You know? So mm -hmm. you as a parent, 
that you get up to that male, that male holiday mm-hmm. and the schools and all this community. So that's what we need to I think that's an, that's an excellent point. Um, Maria to said, very true, my brother Jamal Kamara. Um, Check, you've heard from Maria too, you've heard from Yusuf, and um, a lot of um, community engagement, parenting, um, involvement, and the point at which Yusuf talked about going local, engaging your kids, taking your kids out and go treats. And then that word competition between mama and papa, I so value that word. We need to ditch that about focusing on the wrong channel. Yes, um, um, yes, I'm conscious of a caller. Caller, whoever you are, stay on the line. Let me come to um, share. If you could be brief, please. Uh, I believe that the the problem is a reality, mm. and now it's a wake up call for us all. Yeah. So the government they want ease. Yeah. The mothers and fathers want ease. Mm. The school want to achieve more. Yeah. The children they want a good life. Yeah. So if you see all of these factors, none can progress. None can be any good without the other. Mm-hmm. So as we are. As mankind, mm-hmm. we're all in the same boat. Mm-hmm. So, but as Sidi Khan, his team, yeah. he's in charge of London, yeah. and I believe it is an achieve an achievable goal that can reduce and actually eradicate stabbings and all this kind of um, aggressive behavior in society. Mm-hmm. They still exist to be put in place to motivate the children mm-hmm. to make real competition real team play mm. just like you see the football teams they're in the league they strive they fight they mm. all want to win mm. this needs to come involved the family mm. and the children and the schools and the community and the government yeah. that our all get aim is the same success and none of them teams succeed without the other oh, so they agree fantastic um hello caller what's what's your name who said they call for me please DJ Paman, yes. DJ Paman, DJ Paman, Asalamatullah, Asalamatullah, DJ Paman. DJ if you could be very, very busy because we've come to the end of the program. Um, if you could call the other line, but if you could call the uh, program and then um, if you could be brief, please. Hello. Yes, yes Kelly. All right. Uh, I want to thank you, you know. Really, I'm not from today. It's not a very good idea. And the one thing is, uh, official member Salo, who might be looking for to do something like this. But where are they all we'll get right? I'm a friend of the mentor, our community. Mm-hmm. Okay, the point is simply the earlier, right? When man and the young, we get the right of DJ Lito, the chef, we get the levy, we get all the people in back, we need to say, we. We the next class, we should have seen it. They will tell me to say, give us. You know the way that they can't tell them what's that now. But not in order. Right? And maybe they will say, people are like you, sir, check. They need to take over now. Listen to me. They need to embrace. They need to explain to them. I'll be here while they work. Because I'm going to say, 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 I mean, people say we're not going to be for you. It's not going to be very smart. Because all man is going to say, ah, no, uh, but we should have lots of examples, lots of this, lots of that. Well, we all come on a small country. Right? we all connected to each other. So, the suggestion I bring to them, right? Mm-hmm. If, they can, if we can make up a team, what can you embrace the youth then from the country? Because there's a lot of serious in the region. Mm-hmm. Especially the young ones. And at the moment, none of them know each other. They're just the need to pass as well, but they need my club. But nobody trying to talk to them. True. So that's just my little point I'm gonna make it to yes, Thank you so much. Yes, um, I'm DJ Pamai. Thank you so much, yes, DJ Pamai. Excellent yes. contribution. Well, yes. um the people then as soon as you uh we've had um from uh Jerry Campbell, we've had from um well, the Yusuf um, Jamal Kamara and with the Sheikh Kamara, um, everybody, the contributions from Princess Sky, from DJ Kamine, from Maria to Siddiqui Sisei, and also with um, Ajay Boy, um, also um, we call the program. So we want to say, thank you, thank you. On my, my own take personally, my own summary you I will come up with is basically from the lessons where I don't learn from the studio guests them in terms of night crime. 
And I think, say, before we go on camera, earlier on, both me studio guests, they tell me, say, this is a problem we will not get for go away. But, however, I don't believe, say, then, then both believe, say, if we carry on for work on them and take and go back to the basics, work with the parents, them, and um, give them that support. And also, both me, um, guess them, both agree, say, the government need for give back power to parents and give them control for let them able for administer discipline because the African mindset and the African child is managed and governed separately from that of the other race system. Because if you allow African parents them, the same way they make laws, then when they make legislation them, and then they tell them make real legislation to real African parents them, it will make significant differences them now we uh, community for them we parents they able for administer discipline so we don't pick them. Also engagement from one the parents them get involved with them picking them get to know them picking them. We have the, um, the woman Mrs. Skyway say involve you picking no fear for ask you picking like my 16 year old man where he feels say challenge and ask him what he gets inside the bag. Also engage him. What about going out? Have social evenings. If you work hard, one of the guests they, uh, say, used to say, go out. You understand? That if you don't spend 800 pounds, go salon out of your 1,000 pounds. Use the 200 pounds at least. Go out with your family. Go out with your family. You know, sit down and eat. And then talk and keep yes. coping. You know what? Yeah. Our, our best moment is <laughs> to check this time. Yes. <laughs> now yes. I'm summarizing yes. what you <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 But any of you know, issues they want to want for a little support to now towards not picking them, and we go do that. I want to yes. say massive thank you to uh, Mr. Yusuf Jamal Kamara. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Salam, salam, salam. Thank you, thank you to um, Sheikh Kamara. Jazakallah. You understand? So thank you, thank you. Um, but before we left, now we'll just get to wait till they come up. Madingo Union, UK and Ireland, they come up with them annual fundraising dinner and dance that they take place. Um, 2018 Madingo Union, they come up um, this now the River of Life Center uh, from 7 to 3 that now the 14th of April. The ticket now just 35 pound. And as we all know, everybody's favorite uh, community restaurants, when an IB's restaurant, um, um the base now number six Anside Street, IB's restaurant number six Anside Street, where in Camberwell Road, um London everything for all your occasion, all your events, if you want to go out. Now, um, out with your family as well. You see, the check don't say you can go to Ivy's restaurant where you go get a fun, lovely time. And also, you get Swazi Union, Swazi Union, they come up with the official um salon independence where they take place on the 28th of this month. And our official salon independence, Swazi Union, that now, the um, what they call the place in Lighthouse, Kamba, with Lighthouse, the ticket now 50 pound. That's because it's a ball, so everybody get up in dress with a baby. Best salon. Um, hopefully by then we will not get government. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyway, so I see you on the day. Link up. But I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to my guest again. Thank you to my um videographer, Mr. Mogoma, and thank you to my manager, my producer, um, Ruth James, and also remember that um yesterday we have DJ Duel, um no DJ Supermed with um timeless classic with um from two to four DJ Duel bang. With our official Mama Salon top 10 countdown, when I from 5 to 8, and myself on Monday, DJ Keman on Wednesday, and J Boy is gonna start his program again on Sunday, which is 4 to um, 8 30. I mean, I think it's um, 3 4 30 to 5. 
4.30 to 5.30. 4.30 to 5.30. That now, AJ boy, they start in brand new Top program. House. Where they take place, they start on the 8th, yeah? Mm -hmm. The 8th of April, that now, this Sunday when you come, I'll make sure so you join. And also, now we'll hey, for you. You don't call all this program there. Yes. They don't have a cool, no community thing. Man, then they come last time, and yeah, but we, we open up the program to them. No, no I've come. given the program Friday is fancy. We need to then speak as community with parents. I have given the program to a shake in the back. I have given the program to a shake. We've got a children's program, we've got a children's program which is taking Just place on up. Thursday, and that's going to take place on Thursday. We've got a children's program, you're absolutely right. And we get a Christian program way for start on Sunday by Pastor Paul Bumbuya, and then um. Check um Mohammed Bashir for starting program where for start on Friday and also we look out for more female presenters as well. Any of us um, we get any program for support like health issues. Well, you and yes, health issues they come up. I start as you say they come, but I need to round up my manager skills. And if you want to talk about anything, please feel free to join the diaspora voices team. Contact with James on the radio uh, on on your phone or you contact me on the on the phone um the number now uh, 0709 or you reach out to group james on um, facebook social media that's who our voices would like to say thank you god bless you till next time land that we love mama salon and we go out with ie and them <laughs> Thank you.